let's bring in award-winning actor and humanitarian Gary Sinise. Gina just mentioned that this is all because of you. Gary, thank you so much for being with us tonight, and thank you for all that you do. Oh, uh, thank you very much, and thanks to all the thousands and thousands of donors that make these trips possible for us. Well, it's because of your name and your foundation, the Gary S Sinise Foundation. What does it mean to you to have this happening tonight and to be able to send these veterans off? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, this, this program started, uh, I've had a long relationship with the National World War II Museum in New Orleans going back to when Tom Hanks uh, invited me to do the voice of Ernie Pyle in the movie that plays at the museum called Beyond All Boundaries. That goes back to 2009. And in uh, 2014, my uncle Jack, who I had sent down there, he was a um, navigator on a B-17 bomber over Europe. Uh, I sent him to the museum um, and he passed away in 2014. And I, uh, he had recorded a video and I uh, asked them for the video and I thought, you know, every family should have a video of their World War II family member hero like this. So I offered uh, the museum to support their program and uh, sponsor um, uh, historians to go out and record these World War II heroes. And then these videos are preserved at the museum. And then I also went to our partners at American Airlines, who we have a tremendous relationship with going back many, many years, and said, let's try to get as many of these World War II heroes to uh, New Orleans as possible. So we started uh, soaring valor and we started sending these heroes as you see on your screen there down to the world war ii museum i've had the privilege to travel with hundreds of world war ii uh, uh, veterans to the museum and this is a wonderful opportunity for amtrak to send joseph eskenazi down to uh, the museum by train and they are you know i want to thank everybody at amtrak for for supporting our wonderful program and treating him so beautifully. Of course, uh, you mentioned the name Tom Hanks. So many people think of you and Lieutenant Dan and <clears throat> Tom Hanks and your connection to the military there. Also, you mentioned your uncle and your great connection to the military and how much he has inspired you. You've been doing this for such a long time now and has talked to so many uh, different veterans over the years. This is, of course, some video from Forrest Gump, one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, what? <laughs> It, do you think are some of the most important lessons or maybe the most important lesson you have learned from all of these veterans you've met over the years that the rest of us can incorporate into our lives oh my gosh it's been it's been such a privilege i, I mean i i had not only my uncle jack served in world war ii but my uncle jerry did my grandfather served in world war one he was in the army my dad served in the navy I've got veterans on my wife's side of the family. Her two brothers served in Vietnam. Her sister served in the Army. She married a Vietnam veteran. So a lot of veterans in my family that inspire me uh, to, to do a little bit more every day to try to support them. And after September 11th, I'll tell you, I just, I just dove in, uh, you know, full force. And it all kind of snowballed into the creation of a full-time foundation the gary sinise foundation and i've been just i've met hundreds thousands uh, of veterans I've, I've worked with the dav the disabled american veterans supporting our wounded veterans and and just met so many inspirational people over the years uh they don't ask for much they give a lot they provide our freedom for us and uh, defend our cities we support our first responders at the gary sinise foundation as well and each, each time I did something, I just wanted to go out and do more. There you see, uh, you saw a picture of a student with one of our World War II veterans. We send our students down there with, uh, on these trips with veterans. Uh, students from all over the country have traveled uh, with World War II veterans to the National World War II Museum. There you see a photograph there of one of our students. Um, going to the World War II Museum with somebody who lived through that experience uh, is a an education that uh, you'll you'll never get. I mean, it's just very very special, and it really emphasizes the cost of freedom and what happened all those years ago in World War II 
that benefited all of us and the world and we can never take that for granted and you know obviously we're losing them our world war ii veterans rapidly uh pretty soon there won't be any more left uh, the joe eskenazi we're sending down there he's he's going to be 105 pretty soon so yeah. uh they are they are aging rapidly and we are trying our best to 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 give them the trip of a lifetime down to the national world war ii museum it's a real honor to be able to do this tonight well, let me just ask you this. Uh, I have a l lot of military veterans in my family, too. And so, Gary, each and every Friday, I wear red <laughs> to remember everyone deployed. I see that. <laughs> Alex does as well. Plenty of, if you saw behind the camera, most everyone here does it, too, on Fridays. It's become the tradition here at Fox 11. I'm so proud of that. Why do you yeah, think, given to everything that you just talked about, why is it so important to preserve their legacies and remember their legacy? I, th I think, you know, it's very easy to take everything for granted that we have. Uh, at, you know, when you travel around the, uh, the world and you go to places like Afghanistan or Iraq or, you know, the... I've, been, I've stood on the border between North and South Korea at the DMZ up there. You know, you have freedom on one side and then just two feet away from you, there's slavery. And and they don't understand what freedom is in a place like North Korea. And when you go to places like that and you see how other people live and that freedom is just not at everybody's fingertips, you value your own freedom that much more and you value the people that provide it for you. And f freedom comes at a cost, a price must be paid. We're lucky that we have people that'll raise their hand and go out there and defend our country and protect our cities and run into burning buildings and you know pull people out of burning cars and, and all of that. So I feel just blessed, you know, as somebody who has benefited from the people that have provided my freedom for me. I've, I've had a great career, I've done great things, been able to do many, many things and I feel blessed and, and, and honored to be able to take some of that good fortune that I've had and pass it on to others and shine a spotlight uh, where it needs to be, like tonight. Just being able to, to support this wonderful event and to send Joe down to, to the museum. And once again, thank you to Amtrak for, for working with us. Thank you to all my team for, for working with I, I wish I could be at the, at, at the station to see him off. Well, well, we're there. Yeah. And we're going to talk to him, and hopefully you keep watching us, because we'll have that a little bit later on <laughs> in the show when we get to him. I'm tuned in, believe yeah. me. They got it yeah. on in the television, but, uh, in the other room right in the, now. In the meantime, this is, you know, we do this Remember Everyone Deployed every Friday, but this is our all-time best Remember Everyone Deployed with Gary Sinise himself. Yeah. So thank you for joining us on Friday night of all nights, the best night to have you here. We appreciate all the work that you do. Thank you so much. And for more information, Gary Sinise Foundation dot org.